So the lesson that I taught today, I chose a journal topic based on decimals. The difference between two decimals is six and 53 hundredths. What might the two decimals be? Show five different solutions. So we started with the problem about cupcakes and I just tried to write it with them just to get them engaged about what they were gonna be thinking of. My lesson today was area and perimeter and the learning goal was for them to find an unknown side. So you're going to find some areas and perimeters but you're also going to solve some problems that might be a little challenging for you, like we do in our productive struggle math problem solving notebook. Kids want to learn and they want to talk about what they're learning. One of the ways that we are doing that is through the productive struggle problems. So we are asking teachers to set the stage of the problem, provide the problem, read two ways, and give kids a little bit of time to think about it and process that quietly, but then talk about it and share strategies, share ideas. One of the key words is um, difference. I think difference because that means that you know you have to subtract two numbers to get this. Boys and girls, can I have your attention? I just want to be clear. Is everybody going to have the same answer? No. And is that okay? Yes. Keep going. We are really excited about the work that we've been doing with Productive Struggle through math discourse here at Butler. When we saw how discourse could improve student learning, we brought that into multiple classrooms across the school. 75 plus 25 equals 100. So the answer should be 25. I think they're more willing to look at a problem and if they don't get it, they will look again, you know, maybe they're reading two ways on their own or just not giving up. Yeah, you got that right right there, but you didn't get this right right here because you need to add the 75 right here. And then 25, and then it will, it will, it will equal Part of what we see teachers doing now is they're walking the room as well as listening to how children respond rather than being in a stand and deliver format. So 20 plus 25 is 40? 40. 45. Oh, what? So shouldn't it be both questions? Oh, I don't know. You tell me. I think the biggest change is the kids are taking ownership of their learning and they're talking about it. And I'm always struck by how the kids light up and become engaged when they're talking about the problems as opposed to just listening to the teacher lecture. They are fully engaged and they're debating with each other and they're starting to understand, hey, I have an opinion or I have a reason for my answer and I'm going to share that with you and I'm going to compare that with yours. Okay. Um, no, that's I don't think that, because the answer it would have to be 6 and 5300 so that you would subtract it by a number. We've seen a lot of success, not just through data, but through those smiles that we see children having this year. And it comes through a lot of work with a really powerful team. So if we can help our kids to become better problem solvers, then they're going to be a lot better off in whatever job they end up in, whatever college they go to. If they're solid problem solvers, they're going to be well off. Excellent job. Good job, guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back.